Welcome to Bold Faces Federal Ministry of Housing Next Level on the Move with me, Trisha Esegne Kerry. Today, we will capture the ministry's activities and called on infrastructures. We will x ray the FG at Work inspection tool of the National Housing Scheme ongoing and completed projects and its benefits to Nigerians, most especially the minister's vision of improving the lives and livelihoods of Nigerians through transparency, patriotism, and his highly efficient, innovative ideas in the execution of his ministry's affordable housing scheme, covering planning, designing, and construction activities. One of the next level commitments of the federal government of Nigeria, as declared by President Buhari, is to deepen access of Nigerians to affordable housing and consumer credit. This is a mandate item of the housing sector of the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing. The basic thing that a house must do is to shelter you, not only against the element wind, rain and weather, but also give you comfort. So that house must have a minimum of certain things. It must have doors, it must have proper roofs, it must have roofs that meet minimum health standards and those things have a price. And indeed, the whole world is migrating away from some of the things that we, we toy with in terms of low cost. The whole world is migrating away from them. So, because they end up creating slums, people don't want to live in slums. They want a minimum quality of life, and that is what we are modeling across the 34 states. And we need to be careful how we use terminology because of the impression that it creates. And as I said, housing is a combination of ownership and renter. The fact that I cannot buy a house should not uh, debar me from even being able to rent a decent home that will not flood when it rains, that the roof will not fly off when they storm, and that when I sleep at night and lightning strikes, I have to wake up. I should be entitled to a minimum of comfort, even if it's just to rent, because no nation has provided 100% ownership in the world, not even the nations with the smallest population of 3-4 million people. We have the National Housing Program, whereby we are building houses directly from the ministry as a, as a test run uh, all over the country, except uh, two states uh, out of the 36 states, including uh, plus FCT. We are not doing in Lagos and, and uh, Port Harcourt, that is uh, Rivers, because they didn't give us land. Like I said earlier, land belongs to the states and the local government. So when we are taking projects there, we are expected to get land from the states. So we didn't get land from Lagos and uh, River State. So these are the only two places that we have done, we have not uh, constructed uh, the housing, the national housing uh, program. But in all other uh, states, we have done that. We have reached advanced state, I think, uh, we have finished more than uh, half of what we are doing and the rest are at various stages of completion. I need to almost all the 34 locations, if not all. So I know what is going on there. And in some places we are now in a phase two. Again, employing people, creating livelihoods for vendors, artisans, laborers, painters, welders, and that is the first step really behind, it's not just the number of houses, it's first how it gets to people. Those are part of the 100 million people who Harry administration wants to reach. It's already reaching them from what they see, how much they earn, the level they get. So people will just understand this. The federal government through the Economic Sustainability Plan, has selected housing delivery as one of the focal programs to create more jobs opportunities
to deal with the challenges of poverty exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic on the global economy. Welcome to Kasana in Abuja, right here at the National Housing Program site of the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, uh, focusing on the housing sector. On this site, um, you can see right behind me is a structure. It's actually a condominium, which consists of a, a block of 24 units. You know, this particular site, uh, we have quite a lot of workers, a lot of artisans uh, being empowered by the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing under the leadership of uh, His Excellency, Mr. President Muhammadu Buhari. Right here, we're going to be talking with the workers. We're, they're going to be telling us the economic impact of this project on them and their families, their immediate and extended families. We have quite a lot of them. You know, carpenters, you have iron benders, you have masons, you have um, electricians. You know, just name them. There are quite a lot. You know, we'll be talking with them very soon. As you can see, what we are constructing here is, uh, is known to be condominium. And the condominium comprises of 24 flats of different, uh, we have different flats that make up the condominium. About 15, two bedrooms, uh, four one bedrooms and four three bedrooms. And uh, we are already at the uh, second, uh, second deck now, which is the second slab, suspended uh, slab. Of the building that is what we are doing now we are casting the the slab one of the unique thing about this housing project is that uh, it takes care of persons with disabilities they is designed in such a way that the the ground floor is meant to be inhabited by persons with disabilities you can see the ramp that is co being constructed there even at the entrance the main entrance the same ramp is there but um uh, so it's, it's a very unique thing because most buildings in Nigeria, we don't normally uh, take um, into consideration persons with disability. But this government is particular about everybody and they've included the uh, persons with disabilities. Personally now, we are, I have both the plumbers, those that are doing the mechanical and the electrical, and I have the, the casters and the mason. My name is Dalatumusa Wakili. I'm an iron bender. I mean, you did the iron bending work from the beginning, from this project. Uh, personally now, more than, personally now, as I'm talking to you, like uh, 56, but as at morning, in the morning, we were, there were more than 100. Okay, um, my name is Owocho uh, Omale. Uh, I thank Mr. President, Mr. Buhari, for this project. My name is uh, Olusegun Omale, Alas Dizoro. Yeah, I'm a brick here, Amazing. Before I don't do anything, now this work, just, I don't get opportunity of this work. Three months, I don't start this work now, and my family is okay. My name is Dam Lola. Since three months now, since three months now, I've been coming here, I've been working every day. And I do electrical work for this place. Federal Ministry of Work and Housing, they give me this work. They have my life. They have my life, they have life more for, my, for my family. So I, normally I work here, I can be able to feed my family well. So we thank God for the government. Since when we started this project almost three months ago, at least all of us are happy. Both the supplier, with the engineer, everybody that are happy. So we thank God. If all my people, all of them, they thank me, say that I got it. I thank for the what's announcing. I employ all these pledges near to the the, the, the our site. I fed them to help their family. The buy anything i know get what before i sit down for house all this iron nami dua from the beginning to this level uh, you, the, those people that are that supply those materials like cement sand granite iron they've really benefited from the pro, from this project at least uh, i can't be quantifying the numbers of materials we bought but i really know that they've benefited from it a lot yes. because when since when this site starts I've been enjoying it. My people, they are eating. We benefit from the government. I will thank uh, and our youth. We thank uh, Mr. President. We thank uh, our minister, Fashola. So I'm thankful for this project. Where I start. At these people that work under me more than three months ago, uh, they are happy with me. You can see there, people that are working every day. 
and then they get, get some money to feed their family. And since when I'm doing this work now, at least I'm pay, I can pay my school fees. My wife does really well. But there are people that supply iron, all of them that are happy. So what all of us. So I need thank God. We thank them because every day, no day that will come here will go empty-handed. Yes, yes. We must have to carry something home. So we are praising him. We are thanking him to bring for other our own other neighbor neighbor village so that everybody will enjoy from the government. We thank him very much. We want him to do more for us, more than this. Thank Mr. President. We thank our minister, Fashola. Fashola! The Federal Ministry of Housing has completed over 3,000 housing units and more are presently under construction at different stages with 455,048 direct jobs and 61,950 indirect jobs created in the national housing program across Nigeria. I think the total is about 3,800 units. As I said, we are in the second phase of some places. So those numbers are a moving target. Uh, and I have to check again where we are today. They move every day. If you sum it up, we are uh, talking about about 5,000 houses uh, currently. So, for instance, in, in uh, Zubahia, we have 700 and around 40 in one estate, which will be completed very, very soon. Uh, because there are different stages. Some are finishing roadwork, some are installing electrical and mechanical, like plumbing, piping, uh, water supply, some are just building out of the foundation, some are painting, some are in interior fittings, and so it's a moving target every day. And a couple of others that I told you were doing directly from the Federal Housing Authority, which is our muzzles in, 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 in building the, the houses. Technically, the FHA has uh, two categories of uh, housing programs. The first one is the commercial, uh, which caters for the medium and upper um, income earners, as well as them. Uh, um, the second one is the provision of low income houses, what you can refer to as affordable houses, for the generality of Nigerians. This is where the low income, as well as the no income sometimes, you know, fall into. The mix that you'll find in a place like uh, Pestak and Guarimpa will give you the full picture of how this has been taken care of. It's a mixed development. Um, Pestak town is one, um, is somewhat to the tune of about uh, combined with Guarin is about 22,000 housing units. And um, if we look at the history and the records that are on ground here, we've been able to um, have well over 120,000 units of houses across board, and this covers uh, about 30 states of the Federation, including um, FCT. The Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria and the Federal Housing Authority are increasing the housing stock through other schemes designed to achieve the 2,000 housing unit yearly targets aimed at providing more housing for Nigerians. The Housing Ministry is mitigating the deficit in the sector by providing more houses under the National Housing Program to ensure that Nigerians have access to affordable, conducive and hygienic homes. Mortgage institutions achieving affordable housing for all Nigerians will require the development of strong and enduring mortgage institutions 
with transparent processes and procedures. Mortgage Refinancing Company, this institution, when fully operational, should ensure adequate support for mortgage financing. Federal Mortgage Bank is the foremost federal government agency for the promotion of affordable home ownership for Nigerians. That is the essence of creating the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, to promote affordable home ownership for Nigerians. And uh, through the instrumentality of National Housing Fund. National Housing Fund is the source of fund, it's a full of funds where all Nigerians above 18 years and above are supposed to contribute 2.5% of their income into the pool of funds. It's from this pool of funds that the Federal Mortgage of Nigeria provides all its services to the contributors to the National Housing Fund. And it's open to all Nigerians, whether in the formal or informal, or the public or private sector, they are supposed to be contributed into this pool of funds. The Federal Mortgage Bank is the one uh, funding the development of, uh, of uh, uh, housing. And our main focus now is the affordable housing, whereby we are looking at the medium and low income earners so that we will reduce the housing deficit across the country. One last thing is the National Economic Sustainability Program. The Honorable Minister was a member of that committee chaired by the Vice President, whereby we are directed to deliver 5,000 houses within a year uh, to spend 40 billion naira. That project has already been approved by our board. Developers selected, they are already on site about to clear sites and then start construction of those estates. We intend to deliver these 5,000 houses within air. The effect of that is not only delivering houses and getting mortgages for these houses, but the job is going to create by building 5,000 houses. Even at 17 jobs per house, we are talking about over 85,000 jobs that are being created within that. The essence of that created by the federal government is to cushion the effect of the COVID-19 that has devastated the economy of the nation and other nations. With the creation of this economic sustainability program, which we are instructed to, to pursue, we'll be able to create jobs to reduce the impact of the COVID. And as you quite well know that the private sector is the most affected during this COVID. Well, again, let me re-emphasize that our ministry's housing scheme is a matter of testing a policy because we are a policy uh, 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 initiator and implementer. But we drive policy down at grassroots through our parastatals. So part of our policy is not just construction, but funding. And the implementation of the funding side of our work is done by the Federal Mortgage Bank, providing loans for building houses and providing loans for acquiring houses. And all of this is done through the National Housing Fund uh, to which people can contribute. If you contribute to it, you can take out of it. So they give all sorts of loans, estate development loans, uh, home refurbishment loans, and all of that. And they give it at, uh, through uh, uh, secondary uh, mortgage institutions because they are the apex mortgage institutions. They give it to them at 6 or so they lend it below 10. The FMDN, we are, uh, currently we have reduced the equity for mortgages lower than 5 million to zero so that you know uh, at that level you will capture the low income so that they can uh, come up and we have uh, uh, extended the, 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 the National Housing Fund to, 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 to the non-formal uh, sector. All these things have been done to ensure more people get their own uh, houses to improve the house ownership in the, in the country, the house ownership rate. So we are working a lot in that regard. My God, the experience is terrible because I was a tenant and the landlord fired me to the extent that I cannot risk. But as God will make it just a day, 
the sea mountain colors, our headquarters Abuja, you know, with the good initiation of our commercial Dr. Popoye Oyeni, he is the person that initiated this to our core and it makes us to fast track this thing fast. That's how we got to have this house. So if you want to have a loan from the Federal Mortgage Bank, uh, if you fulfill all the conditions, you don't need any equity. It's zero. This is to encourage the low income to have their own houses. Uh, by so doing, we are reducing the deficit and we are increasing the house ownership rate. We have extended, which was previously only the formal sector, the National Housing uh, uh, Fund, which was previously only capturing the, 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 the formal sector, the civil servants. and uh, Now we are moving, we have extended it to capture the non-formal sector. So if they organize themselves, they can uh, be depositing in the fund and they can access the facility to build their own houses. And uh, so these are a couple of things that we, we have been doing. Federal Housing Authority, on the other hand, is where we have a large complement of technical people, builders and all of that. And they go out to go and build uh, significantly large estates. Their reputations come from places like Guanipa and uh, First Act Tower. And they are doing something now in Zuba. And they are trying to initiate some other large projects, big villages, big towns like First Act and Guanipa across Nigeria. So. They have a couple of houses uh, under development and we hope that they can expand as uh, the resources get better. The Federal Ministry of Housing is collaborating with research institutions and the public sector to build quality housing for Nigerians through the establishment of modular facilities across the country. The collaboration with the private sector is to create a large number of well-paying jobs for Nigerian youths and implement a strategy towards the realization of President Buhari's government pledge to take 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in the next 10 years. Housing development has been identified as one of the tools that will help to achieve what you have uh, you have said uh, getting people out of poverty in the next uh, uh, 10 years the, the benefit is um, wholesome one you provide shelter to an average nigerian two you pay your taxes on whatever you must have put down three it gives you the opportunity building alone gives us the opportunity to bring down the unemployment rates for the economy of nigeria booms when you have so much houses being built at the same time it happened before in lagos uh, by the time you are creating this construction finance you are creating jobs for the developers you are creating jobs for the laborers we are creating a lot of jobs for every house built, you are creating 17 jobs that you are keeping in the Nigerian sector. Not only that, it has a multiplier effect. By the time you are constructing a house, you are, you are stimulating the manufacture of building materials. Those who are building the timber, they will, be, they, they will be engaged. Those who are doing the roof issues, those who are doing the cement, producers of cement, producers of windows, aluminium, tiles, uh, even those who excavate sand and then bring their you are stimulating the entire economy. And every time you move people to prosperity, you are moving them out of poverty. Whether the jobless who get work, you are moving them away from poverty. So, whether you increase somebody's asset value by adding infrastructure, you are moving them away from poverty by moving him towards prosperity. Somebody who gets access to credit to refurbish his house is on the road to prosperity. Somebody who gets access to credit to buy a house, a mortgage, is on the road to prosperity because he moves from owner of nothing to a mortgage holder. That's prosperity. 
Apart from that also, uh, you are also, even post-construction, you are stimulating the economy and creating furnitures for that. A furniture maker, by the time we build these 5,000 houses, that means 5,000 furnitures are going into the economy. So this is, uh, it, it has a lot of multiplier effect for the nation. And it keeps the economy uh, vibrant, and it keeps our youth away from restiveness, and keep them self-employed. So a lot of uh, benefits come along with the housing uh, construction. Consequently, the central bank has approved 200 billion to, 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 to construct houses for 300,000 households. So these are the ways to see the president's commitment and statement. Because the difference between poverty really is prosperity. And prosperity is relative. Depending on your status in life. If you didn't have a job yesterday, and you have a job today, irrespective of what it pays, you have moved. Your next target now is to double your pay. And then your next target will be to acquire assets. Like a house, a car, clothing. You are moving on. Because you are, as you have assets, you are acquiring things that you can use to leverage other things. So this, this, this is my understanding. A big thank you to the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing for bringing, coming up with this kind of uh, program. And we are looking forward for more of this because there is a, the environment everywhere, this kind of program has been coming up. A lot of people benefit, even the, the environment, the people in that very domain, they benefit too from it. But some have been fully completed and we will soon launch the process of uh, uh, allocation on a digital platform to reduce human interference. So we don't want people coming to buy paper forms here so that there, there are no no, no human, limited, there's limited, very limited human interference and people are not taking advantage of People that we had in mind are the low income to low middle class uh, families who can afford to, to, to uh, buy them hopefully on a mortgage basis and pay slowly uh, from their salaries while they are work. So, uh, the conditions for eligibility are part of what you will see when we open the portal for allocation. Welcome back. Mr. President Mohamed Buhari, through the Ministry of Housing, has chosen the development of infrastructures as an anchor to achieve a faster turnaround of the economy. During these unusual times of COVID-19 global recession and government limited resources, delivering housing to Nigerians from thought to manifestation. Our appreciation goes to the Honorable Minister of Works and Housing. I call him the People's Minister. His Excellency, Mr. Babatunde Raji Fashola, SAN. We say thank you. And to you watching, hope to see you next week. It's bye for now.